Andreas Up created this super interesting review of my tool CaptionCat for DaVinci Resolve and it's in German. But fortunately we created this AI translated version for you. Enjoy! Anyone who creates content for social media cannot avoid it. Captions, subtitles, undertitles, such as these. The nuisance has many names, but they all have one thing in common. They are annoying. Well, not when you have them in the end, then they are ideally very helpful. But getting to the point of creating them, that's annoying. There are various apps for captions, but mostly with a monthly subscription. Instagram or TikTok can do this partially themselves, but not always. For example, with Insta Stories, it doesn't work, and the results are... Well, indeed sometimes of rather average quality. In this video, I want to introduce you to Caption Cat. A small plugin for, of course, DaVinci Resolve, with which you can easily create animated subtitles in no time and automatically, because indeed it's not that simple with built-in tools. Let alone, certainly, not at all. Behind it is Mama World, which is the developer Matthias Mull. He also recently developed the plugin Beat Edit, which I introduced here about two years ago. And the dear Matthias granted me early access to a beta version. I was also able to make a few suggestions that made it into the final version. But this is not a paid video. I also don't receive any affiliate income or anything. I just think Caption Cat is a cool tool that hasn't existed in this form before. And that's why it's indeed also a wonderful opportunity to support a smaller and talented German developer because it's Germany first now, right? After all... Oh, and by the way, you can also win three licenses for Caption Cat. What you need to do for that? More in a later video. What exactly does Caption Cat do? It's basically two things. First, like transcribing videos. You don't necessarily have to do this. You could also import an SRT file from an external source that you already have or write the subtitles manually. But with Caption Cat, you can also have videos transcribed automatically. This is something that DaVinci Resolve can already do itself. However, Caption Cat uses Whisper. This is an open source plugin that, in my experience, and I've tested it for a while now, has much better quality, at least in German, than the native transcription function of DaVinci. The native function is very good in English, but in German it's just okay. Caption Cat is significantly better in this regard. And secondly, you can animate these text-created subtitles with various presets. I would say, let's take a look and see how it works. I've now loaded one of my own YouTube videos into an empty project because they are relatively talk-heavy and therefore well-suited. Once you have installed the plugin, you will find it, like some other plugins, at the top under Workspace in the Scripts section. And here, in my case, next to the good old Beat Edit, is Caption Cat for Resolve. When I just start it, the tool now has the two mentioned options. And as I see it now, it should actually be divided into two parts. Up here is the section for transcribing. You don't necessarily need it. Maybe you have subtitles, or you have had them created through DaVinci's own transcription. Down here is the section intended for actual application as designed subtitles. Matthias, if you're seeing this right now, maybe these two sections could be visually separated a bit more. I'm just noticing it now because they actually perform quite separate functions. Maybe a line or something like that, right? I can choose whether the subtitles should be created word for word, per sentence, or mixed. I'll say more about that in a moment. Under the settings, there are now options like how many characters per line should be created. Language, in my case German, I don't need to change anything now. Basically, I don't have to do anything here. I just click on transcribe audio. What happens now is that the video is automatically temporarily rendered and sent to Whisper. Whisper, as mentioned, is an open source external tool. It takes a little moment, depending on the length of the video. But this is something that works the same way with other plugins in DaVinci. Many cloud-based plugins often depend heavily on creating a temporary render. Sent somewhere, sent back, and so on. Don't have worry, this temporary render ends up in some trash folder and is automatically deleted afterward. And voila, done. What I have now received is up here, as you would know from DaVinci, a large batch of subtitles in the subtitle line. And you can also see that the entire thing has been subtitled word for word. This is the difference I mentioned earlier. I could have chosen whether to use full sentences or words or even both. Then two subtitle lines would have been created one below the other. But for the animation, it's quite good to have it transcribed word for word like this. And in principle, I could of course call it a day at this point, because I have my subtitles here, but they are not really animated yet. This is where the second part comes into play. Under Effects, I now find a new folder under Titles, Caption Cat. It was installed with it, I'll enlarge the whole thing. And here you find a variety of many, many, many exciting new presets. Some of them are relatively fancy animated, while others, which suit my personal taste a bit more, are somewhat more subtle. For example, here is a line where only one word is highlighted at a time. Let's just take that one. I take it and drag it into my timeline. I can also change a lot there. These are fusion effects that I can modify in detail. This is now also an empty fusion effect. 
When I drag it into the timeline, nothing happens at first. I still see my subtitles only here at the top in white and clear displayed on the screen. But now I open Caption Cat once again, again. And now the second part here in this lower line comes into play. I essentially transfer the generated technical subtitles, meaning the words, into this fusion template. So I say from subtitle one to video two. In this case, it's just apply. Bam, done. And now I can deactivate the subtitles here. I don't need them anymore. And now I currently have these subtitles in my fusion element. And they are nicely animated. What you immediately notice is that the whole thing needs to render first. Because even with resolution reduction, as soon as this fusion effect, this layer is applied, at least on my M1 Max, the whole thing can no longer play smoothly. So you have to do a quick intermediate render to make it run smoothly. But before I do that, I just want to quickly adjust the subtitle a bit. Things like simply the position, that was of course too high. I could adjust font color. I can adjust the highlight color. As I said, this is now a preset. There are dozens. Let's say, for example, I would prefer turquoise subtitles with white as the highlight color, that suits me quite well. The whole thing could now have some kind of outline. For example, blue usually doesn't appear so good, but black might work quite well to stand out a bit more in general. A background, a shadow, for example. So many details to adjust the whole thing. There are social media safe zones. That's quite practical. And I believe it was a suggestion from me. With this, I can essentially display overlays this doesn't work so well with widescreen, of course, because social media videos are in portrait format, which means the safe zones, the areas where, for example, on Instagram, in a reel or on TikTok, all the elements like buttons and so on are grayed out. So you know which area is free for subtitles. As I mentioned, I don't need that for myself now. I'd like to draw your attention to one more thing, specifically the text segment section down here. Here, for example, is the important point of how many lines the subtitles will have. In this case, it's two. For vertical subtitles, reels, or something similar, you usually use only one line. So this is an important setting here, like how many characters per line and so on. So everything that is important for the differences between vertical and horizontal videos can be found in this line. And one more tip, these are just normal fusion presets here. I can easily use them after I have defined the look of my subtitles and put them into a power bin. If you don't know where they are, here are these three dots in the media pool. I can now turn off the smart bins. I never need them anyway. Turn on power bins and simply just take this clip and copy it in here. I'll give it a name now, like my subtitle or something similar. And then I can easily and conveniently retrieve this clip at any later time in another project. Even if I have generated new subtitles for another video, I can place my previously defined subtitle, defined in terms of appearance, back, use Caption Cat again, and apply the new subtitles to this style. As mentioned, I then select my new subtitle track, specify that it should be copied onto this, and thus, especially with recurring designs, I only need to make the effort once to choose my subtitle, adjust it as I like, and then repeatedly retrieve it from my power bin. I find this an absolutely, incredibly, very, very practical feature, and also the fact that I could now discard it and instead choose some new effect, as well as an extremely useful and beneficial one. So I basically only need to create my subtitles once, as I did above, and can then have them applied to new looks repeatedly, or save these looks and apply new subtitles to them. This is somewhat the technical division, I would say, between the content subtitles, which are up here, and the style to which everything is applied. I hope I was able to explain it in a somewhat understandable way. You can try Caption Cat for free in the demo. It has gotten quite dark. I think the battery has run out in the lamp back there. However, it has also become very dark during the recording. Please forgive me for that. So you can try Caption Cat for free in the demo version. I would recommend you to do that first. The full version costs $50. A one-time purchase, no subscription or anything else. Unfortunately, there is one important thing to mention, but the developer is not at fault for it at all. By now, this plugin, like any other plugin, indeed only works in the studio version as expected. Currently, as it stands, Blackmagic Design made some changes with version 19.1 of DaVinci, which was released in November, that somehow affected these script-loaded plugins in general. As mentioned, this also affects others, so they only work in the studio version. I had already tested it in the beta version before. Anything before 19.1, if you have any of these older versions installed, you can still use such plugins in the free version. Since 19.1, that's no longer possible. As mentioned, Matthias, the developer, is not to blame for this. He also wrote to me in his detailed email that he was very quite irritated at first when he found out that this is clearly and obviously just a restriction that was added with this 19.1 release. 
With this, Blackmagic has essentially downgraded the free version a bit. Uncool, but unfortunately that's the current situation. This means from 19.1 onwards, only the studio version, before 19.1 also in the free version. So I also mentioned that you can win something like, specifically, three licenses for Caption Cat are being raffled off. All you need to do is simply write in the comments what kind of content you would like to create with it. So what would you use Caption Cat for? Why do you need subtitles? Just write it in the comments. Also make sure to mention the extremely important secret code word cat content in any context. You'll be entered into the draw. The draw will take place this coming Sunday, so there's not much time to participate this time. And the winners will be notified directly here in the comments, just like in the past, whenever there was a contest. Okay, I would say that's it. I would really appreciate your EUR feedback, which is kindly and valuable to us. What do you think about it? What do you think of a tool like Caption Cat? If you have been working with captions, how do you create them? In DaVinci, as mentioned, the options have been somewhat limited so far. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions about the tool. Matthias will surely be following along and could also answer some comments. Otherwise, we'll see each other in the next video. I would say take care until then and goodbye. That was Andrea's take on Caption Cat. And yes, the raffle is not only for the original German video, but also for this English version. So until Sunday, you can win one of three free licenses of Caption Cat if you leave a comment here below this video with the secret word cat content. Until then, go ahead and try Caption Cat. The free trial works for 10 days fully functional. You can download it at AE Scripts. And I'm looking forward to see what you create with Caption Cat. See you in the next tutorial.